Hello everyone, it's Jevro. We're going to be talking about a rifle-only mechanist build today with the recent changes from rifle, which probably will get nerfed. We'll see. It means the rifle is a lot stronger than it was before. It is now going to be giving you an explosive grenade from the rifle, which means you now do explosive damage on your rifle, which means it does going to, is, is going to synergize very, very well with the explosives line we'll have a look at that in a moment we're going to make it a very quick build video today so you can enjoy it we're going to also put some gameplay in later in the week as well so if you've enjoyed this make sure you pass it to your friends this is a very very good in build in world versus world as well it's something i've been playing a little bit roaming around um i do go for rocket boots or something else instead of elixir s for example um but it is quite good move speed wise uh you don't get swiftness but you get the core movement speed it really depends. Also, running this with um, pack or something as well is pretty fun. You can make some changes, but try and well be well. Let me know as well. So he's going to be rifle. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Defeat all of the things. Get this video out there. Share it with your friends. I really do appreciate it when you do like the video. So if you could do that right now, go down, down just below here. Press the thumbs up. Awesome. And subscribe as well if you've never been there before. It's going to be Demolisher Amulet. We're going to go through with some toughness here. Lots of power damage out there. I'm playing 2v2s as well at the moment, which is a bit of a pain. Rune of Divinity is going to be all your... Uh, just plus stats, plus maximum health. Really safe rune choice. You can go for something more specific yourself. Obviously, in Worldview, are different as well. You can go for pack, skull up, whatever you want. Predator. Then because we're not switching weapons, don't forget... Don't put energy or anything else like that in because you're not going to be swapping weapons. Make sure you check this out. Go for on hits, go for passives, or go for interrupts as well because you do have some interrupts. Big ones I think you should go for. Sigil of Purging is going to remove conditions because we haven't got a lot of condition removal here other than really for shift signets. Then we've got, um, and we've got, sorry, we've got a little bit in the build passively, but not really much. You know, Elixir has helped you a bit if you get condi bombed but you know other than that it's not really that heavy on the condi remove sigil of separation deal five percent extra damage to targets more than 500 distance away rifle range is pretty good i mean you know stay in max range there's no reason for you to go closer send your mech in you know it's all good you can poke people on points you can be outside the node be a bit more of a sniper with your explosives which is pretty cool Demolish is going to give you a little bit of that defense as well. Look at this. Oh, oh. It can be really annoying. And with like <laughs> aim assisted rocket as well, an explosive line, it is annoying as hell. And but look, it's not like crazy bursty, but you have literally got one button to press most of the time. And then everything else is defensive. So it's a very easy build to play as well, especially for newbies. Um, and I like to put builds out like this um, uh, often as well, where possible. Yes, the animation looks weird. Um, okay, let's have a look at the rest of the build here. It's going to be alchemy, it's going to be explosive, it's going to be mechanist. We go for alchemy mostly because we've got the elixirs right there, of course. So we're going for cooldowns with HGH. We don't forget you drink elixir B when you drop below the health threshold 75%. Protection injection, now this is really up to you. This is because of getting bursted um, by people and not having... I mean, you do have quite a lot of defense. This is what all of your utilities really are here, three of them. Stun break, stun break, and uh, invuln, as well as stun break and uh, elixir you. So you've got a lot of defense here because everything is really on the rifle. Makes sense, right? A lot of utility to save yourself. Really, really good. Repositioning, getting back into range, and then kind of kiting your target. Really, really fun as well. You could go for increase your incoming healing effectiveness so that you can heal your mech a little bit more as well, which is fine. It's up to you, because remember, you've got passive healing for a signet. Um, and then you've got Elixir C. Drink Elixir C when you get two conditions on you. So a little bit of passive removal there, but it's only every eight seconds. And then this... Elixir um, E as well, gaining the barrier and protection. Really, these are just, you know, we don't have backpack regenerator because we've got, not got a kit. There's no point. When you gain regeneration, you remove a condition from an ally. That's grinding at someone else. Not really much point. That's the most defensive, best for your damage and best for you, survivability-wise. Do yourself when you grant yourself a boon. 
you, know, you gave yourself a few boons here and there, but not a massive amount. Although you do gain short fuse in a bit, which gives, which is free every three seconds. You're always on fury, always got that twenty percent extra critical ch chance. And then HGH is going to give you the free extra might stack, and it's also going to be the recharge. Recharge is really the biggest thing here. That's important. Okay, explosives. This is the big boy. Explosive entrance, so your first attack when entering combat explodes, dealing damage to nearby foes. This ability refreshes after a dodge roll. Not a major focus of this build, but it does help with a little bit extra damage. Short fuse is going to be every single time you hit something with an explosion, you're going to be gaining free. Uh, sorry, you're going to be gaining fury, and we'll show you how often that occurs. Vulnerability is just going to be happening while you're passively hitting your target. Amazing, it is so good, but it's also going to be coming out from the mech as well because the mech interestingly enough has some awesomeness about it you know it's going to be getting aim assisted rocket which is a new thing which came in with this latest balance patch uh, critical hits launch a missile at your target after enough missiles have been fired an orbital strike is called instead this will probably get nerfed um i don't think it should be because people have got really enough time to get out of this and you know people are sad there's way worse builds out there right now than this uh, and i really do hope it doesn't get nerfed i think Maybe a little bit, tiny bit on the rifle damage at times, but honestly, this build can be circumnavigated quite easily via uh, conditions. Um, any class that does any conditions. Harbinger can probably be a 1v1 as well. Depending. It just depends who gets to their burst first, really. Um, but aim assisted rocket is awesome because it comes out from the mechanist trait over here, which they changed. And the mech is able to get aim assisted rocket as well. So this rocket is not just coming from yourself, it's coming from your bot as well, which is absolutely fantastic. You're going to be able to get extra vulnerability as well. And yeah, awesomeness. There is no range threshold as well for the mech, apparently. Uh, deal increased strike damage for each stack of vulnerability on your target. Obviously, we're going to be having tons of stacks of vulnerability coming out from you and your own mech. And then we've got big boomer. So deal increased strike damage to foes with a low health percentage than you. If we have an explosion, heals you for a few seconds. I actually played this in Avatar. Um, with Avatar as well. Amulet, sorry. And it's been interesting and fun, randomly. Uh, give it a bash if you want. It's not a massive heal. Um, but you do get 314 as well over three seconds, which is pretty, pretty good. All right. It's not, it's not too bad. Uh, my bot wants to go have a party, apparently. Um, then we've got Mechanist. Uh, you know what the Mechanist is doing. It's your pet, basically. Uh, mech arms, so Jade Cannons. Melee attacks. Sorry. The command is going to be Spark Revolver. Fire rapid volley of Jade Bolts from both arms, piercing through all enemies. Lots of damage. Also, don't forget, we're going to be getting quickness as well from this. So two and three quarter seconds of quickness. So you can use, like, go for something like, you know, Herald... Um, or Herald Rune, uh, da, da, da. other runes for your the build specifically. Where am I thinking of here? Thinking of power, I'm thinking of da, 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 da. leadership. That's it. You could go for leadership, which is going to give you more boon duration and whatnot as well. You could go for that if you want, and you could go for something which removes conditions when you use something like your elite, maybe. Um, it's really up to you. Again. This build is fairly adaptable to your own playstyle, to be fair. Um, but yeah. Jade cannons. Lots of damage. Vulnerability. La la la. Very, very fun. And you're going to get access to... Aim Assisted Rocket. Your mech also gains the effect of that trait. Wicked. So there's tons of damage coming out. Rockets, rockets, explosives. All the damage. All the time. It's very, very fun. Mech fires and new combat subroutines enable your mech to use rocket punch when you activate your free skill on your equipped weapon. This is no longer just on mace, but it is going to be actually yourself as well. Great stuff. On Sorry, yourself from any weapon as well. Not just the mace. Everything. Every single weapon you use. It's going to be the third skill. It doesn't matter what it is, even if it's pistol. That's why they kind of moved this as well, I feel. Because on mace, that's the that's CC skill. This is net shot moved from second skill to third skill. Boom. Makes sense. CC. Boom, boom, boom. Make command. Charge up and release powerful ball of energy at your target that explodes on contact. Unlocks the mech command skill core reactor shots. Your mech gains a greater percentage of your precision and ferocity. This is a damage build. Um, you can really, you can go for, for alacrity if you really want to, but that doesn't make any sense in this build. 
um at all so i actually don't a <laughs> exigency protocols when your mech is struck while under health uh, half health it activates a exigency protocols gaining damage reduction and regeneration for a short period of time there you go it's just a thing uh and then we've got jade mortar this one really is up to you um, so unlocks the mech command jade skill mortar mech command skills grant you quickness when you have a reduced cooldown i'm um, sorry and have a reduced cooldown so there's the now there's the days on it that isn't going to be um working with the big boomer trait either which i'm kind of like sad that they've removed like the functionality between trait lines i know they've moved it to there which is very very cool i'm very very sad about that but you do are able to get quickness i would say if you're not going to go for that one go for sky circus because you're going to get that passive bonus from your uh signets and stuff so you're going to be able to move move speed still is going to be increased you said we're going to be able to get that passive heal as well it's really up to you between these two and if you really want to you can gain more fury and gain more might but you're going to be doing pumping out a ton of damage anyway so let's go and see how often fury is up for that's pretty much the build you know you've got your jump shot which does three stacks of vulnerability as well that's going to be an explosive explosion You've still got your um, overcharge shot, no longer knocked back as well. Really, really good. Mobilize on your net shot, third skill. And then Blunderbuss is going to be a lot of bleed, but it also now gives might. So if you're able to even, if you're shooting from afar, and don't forget that this ability has 900 range, so you can actually hit quite far with this. Get those might stacks off, you know. Get that quickness going if you want as well for your, for your burst. That's your burst there, okay. I would say probably at the moment it really depends on the situation but two skill then get that quickness going you can keep piling it up as well quickness with fury it's pretty pretty brutal it's per like it's you can get a nice burst using just these three skills even if your mech doesn't hit you're going to be doing a lot of damage in a short period of time which is good you know this is a burst build this is what this is um i'm just going to wait for that to come back out and you can see Okay, yeah. Fury is mine. That combination is simple. All you, did, all I did was blunderbuss hit to get the might. Then you can either you can either start hitting or you can hit shift one or whatever your F one is. Get the quickness, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, and just pop all of these off in succession. Boom, bang, bush, bosh. They're probably dead. Um, in all honesty. And the mech still doing, and the mech's doing really a lot better than it was previously. Like you're able to use abilities whilst um, casting stuff, which is cool because before it was just really annoying and wasn't really working too well. Sometimes you had to make sure you weren't actually casting things, so they actually casted some of its own skills off. I'm gonna leave it there, everyone. Okay, very fun, very simple, very effective build in PvP. It will probably be a thing in raids as well at some point where you can just literally hit one and it'll be one of those easy builds you can play. It won't be that because obviously, you know, this is more PvP, but also World v World as well. Use it. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't get to forget to like, comment, subscribe. Really do appreciate it. Just popping this out quickly there for you and we'll see if it gets nerfed. All right. Let me know what your comments are, thoughts and feelings below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you peeps. Hope you're well. Bye-bye.